Hey, Todd here, and welcome to Acme Machining. Uh, today, I'm going to do a couple exhaust manifolds. Uh, I did one a little while back on the milling machine, and uh, I do a lot of them on the belt sander. I've got a big heavy duty belt sander, but I'm just going to put these two up together, and I uh, don't know if you're going to be able to see that until I get in and edit them, but there's quite a bit of space in behind in between them two, so got to flatten them out and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, the important thing with doing them on the belt sander is proper PPE. These get very hot, just like welding. They put a lot of dust in the air, so a good mass system. Okay, one thing I want to show you is this isn't certified flat, but for all intents and purposes, the cast iron table is pretty darn flat. But I'll get a close up of that in a minute. But this here one looks almost new, it says China on it, and it's still got some rock to it. So. I'll zoom in closer here. It's high centering right around this second exhaust port. This here one seems to be high centering on that exhaust port, so we'll get these done. I'm going to start with the easy one because uh, these Ford manifolds, they're, they're very hard and they, uh, they're hard on belts, so I'm going to get one cleaned up on the belt first. be able to talk much because I got a mask on and this thing makes a lot of noise so it's uh, easy to see the high spots like this one's cleaning up here cleaning up on that edge cleaning up on that edge so we'll get this cleaned up and uh, I'll be back Get on that cylinder head, and this is going to work. One thing I find with doing these exhaust manifolds is castings go through heat cycles. They're they're cast and they're machined. They don't preheat them or anything like that. But as soon as they go through, start going through heat cycles they turn into a piece of licorice. Uh, had a lot of, uh, well, Chrysler, Dodge, Ford, they all do the same thing. Imagine all the imports do too. Just, we do a lot more domestic vehicles here. Uh, one thing I find though, is after they've gone through a number of heat cycles, 
they tend to find their happy spot. And you take a new manifold and it will still break the exhaust studs uh, within a year or two. But I find when I do, I've been doing these for a number of years now, and I find that after I resurface them, the problem's gone. So it's like they go through the heat cycles, they find their happy place, I make them flat again, and they stay flat. I don't see them again. And I've been even doing these for the Dodge dealership rather than them selling new manifolds because they just keep coming back. So they've even been sending them to me. So I'll get on to the other one. I'm just going to do a reset on the camera because I know it's going to time out. This one I'm sure is going to be worse because it's warped more and it's, I believe it's OEM. It looks like the old Ford symbol on there and the Ford ones are uh, a very hard casting. Uh, just so you guys know, I am using a 60 grit sanding belt on here and uh, yeah, the only thing I have to do is I change a lot of belts and uh, I have to replace the platen every now and then because I kind of work one area but I get uh, good results out of it and uh, when I'm changing belts I check it to see how it is and when I'm not happy with it it gets a new platen so anyway we'll get to this one got my mask on got my gloves on now I'm gonna make lots of noise here at all so I'm just going to keep on going until uh, it's happy again
I'm going to open the door here at the shop so I can take this mask off and you can understand me. Okay folks, that is how I do the majority of exhaust manifolds. Uh, some get a little long to do on here. Um, that's why I did the other one on the milling machine, plus I wanted to show that content on the channel. Because uh, it's, it's kind of neat how you set up on the milling machine to do exhaust manifolds. Uh, these here ones, they lay flat. You see some exhaust manifolds where it turns around the back of the cylinder head. On those, no choice. Got to do them on the milling machine or else I got to hang them in a certain way that they can hang off of here. But a uh, couple of the old ram style ones that came out in the center, they they were famous for having that wrap around in the center, but you don't see too many of these. These here are the 5.4 uh, Tritons. Uh, do a lot of Hemi. The uh, Dodge Hemi ones, Ram Hemi ones, whatever you want to call them. And I do a lot of the uh, Chevy V8s. So they're the most common. So this one cleaned up. This one cleaned up real quick because it wasn't out much at all. This here one cleaned up pretty quick too, a surprise. Um, I've got a little thin spot over here. I'll bring it in. So hopefully this here will focus for you guys. So it's a little thin there. But the thing is to take that, I've got to take this whole manifold down. Like whatever that holiday is. And there's the actual gasket that goes on this. So like when you look at the width of the gasket, I've got over a quarter of an inch right there that is uh, good mating material. It's definitely a heck of a lot better. Now when I took this one in, I noticed that it was all black here so it was leaking real bad here. Uh, and when I started I showed you it's high here but when I hold it I had like an eighth of an inch gap when I did that and now there's there's no light through there at all there's nothing at all so that's good and flat and uh, I'm sure the customer would be happy with it and uh, so I'm glad I could share this content with you uh, please hit the like and subscribe and uh, you folks have a great day we'll see you next time for Mac Moon Machining